Hello, how's we all doing? I've changed a few things. Well, I say a few things. I've changed one thing. It's the expressions on my face. Um, we won't be getting the sad expression just for this stream. So I just want to... I don't know. I want to see if it's any different. I don't think it will be. So I do have neutral. Smile. Surprise. And I think it's anger as well. Yeah, anger. There we go. That's why I can't do the sorrow anymore. Anyway, right. Um, how will I count this? I have installed genre features types. There's no way. 154? Is it? Do I actually have 154 games? Wait, it's the same there though. 155. Unless that's because... Okay, wait. I have games ticked anyway. Genre. And then install this 7. We don't want that one. Damn, yeah. Okay, I think I have 154 Epic Games on the Epic Games launcher. Now, I will say, before we spin this wheel and before I even get it set up, obviously, I'm going to have to spin the wheel a few times. It won't just be like... Uh, we go with whatever number comes up because of, um, like, depending on what comes up, like, I might be not be able to do it. So if it's like Bioshock, for example, I can't play it because my PC just won't allow it. Um, oh my god, I just realized it's going to take a while. It doesn't matter anyway because we're going to be here for a bit as I, like, talk about the thing anyway. Um, I won't spoil the, well, not, yeah, I won't spoil the magic and how this is being set up. <laughs> just clicking it one by one. Actually, let me just check real quick if there's customized gallery, new. Oh, wait, wait, instead of a spin, I just realized we could just do a, like, number generator from a hunt. <laughs> okay, hold on, wait. Pick a number. From 1 to 154. I love the way it's already picked a number for us. But we're going to generate it again. So we can actually see like what the um, number is chosen. And then I'm going to go into the Epic Game Store. And see what like in my library. Like what number equates to what game. Um, hopefully it's something I already have downloaded. So we could actually do it on the stream straight away. But if it isn't then I'm going to see how long it will take to download. And then whether I should download it now or just wait till the next day to do it. And if we can even do it as well. Anyway, right. So, I have 154 Epic Games. I keep, I feel like I want to say like Epic Steam Games. <laughs> just to be, you know, an Epic Gamer. But, um, it's the Epic Game Store. And I know another follower goal is going to be... Steam games and that one's gonna be that that one's gonna be interesting because a lot of those games I've already played on Steam. If I've got it on Steam, I most likely have played it, but there are a few Steam games that I probably haven't played or can't even play on stream. And actually that reminds me, the um what is it, the infinite stream PewDiePie was doing was actually taken down because it played fucking Yandre Sim and um Honey Pop. <laughs> I don't I can't believe like I feel like as well, I think like Twitch were the one that curated the playlist as well, what videos would play, which is so weird how they got themselves, like they, they had literally the biggest content creator on YouTube have like an infinite stream, but they still fucked it up somehow, like. But I will give Twitch credit where uh, credit is due. Adding the alerts thing built into the, um, whatchamacallit, into the actual stream itself now, or into the... Twitch website itself is very handy, especially for, like, new people who want to start and they don't know what website to go to. It's like, oh, just go into the Twitch settings and it's, like, right there, you know? But, yeah, anyway, right. Th this is just going to be so anticlimactic because there's, like, nothing that we could really do. We can only just click generate and it'll just make a number here. So, let's see. What do we got? 103. Okay, right. So, the 103rd game... This is actually going to be a pain in the ass, I just realized. Um, how am I going to do this? Okay, we count backwards, what was it, 145, wasn't it? 154, oh my god. Okay, Th this is going to take me a while. Oh, is that all of them? Oh, it's because these are downloaded, that's why. So it's going to be in a weird order. 
Is it? No, wait. Oh, it's not even... I thought it was alphabetical, was it? Oh, that's another question, though. Should I even do it where it's, like, recently purchased, alphabetical, time played, recently played? Alphabet... I, I think just for the, like, um... Just for fair, uh, fair game, we're going to, like, set it to A to Z. Because if I didn't set it as that, it just, nah. Because if I set, what was the last one? It was on recently purchased. So, like, that would literally just be, like, going to the oldest games that I have and going from there. Can I, like, type in, wasn't it, 103? No. I wish it was that easy. Uh, uh, uh. And it was 103, wasn't it? Yeah, 103. Right, apologies, this is going to take a while. <laughs> We're just going to have to see, like, what actually comes up for this. Yeah, that's better. Seeing Y at the bottom. So, 154, 3, 2, 1. 149, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 40. 139, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 100, uh... I've already lost count. Oh, my God. Okay, you know, maybe we'll count the other way. Apparently, I can't count backwards. I'm going to have to count up to 103 instead, just because I'm, like, a bit dyslexic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39... 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, that would be 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, that would be 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 100. 100. No. Game 103, which I will have to re-spin on this one, is Poker Club. I don't think um, gambling's allowed on uh, Twitch, so uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, pass on that one, Chief. Uh, I, I'm not getting banned today. I'm good. And you better not land on Destiny. I remember I have Destiny 2 downloaded on Epic as well. Because then at that point, it's like, what's the point? I might as well have just said, like, let's play a Steam game. Like, right, let's see. What do we get? Oh, okay, 103 is the poker one. So I can go from there. Uh, 103. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. Wait, what was it again? 130. Okay, so we're on 110. I can't remember. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, hundred twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I actually haven't played this one, so let me just pull it up real quick. No, not not install. I want to check the uh, store page first. Go to store page. I need to check if it's actually all right to play on Switch. Hmm. First and foremost. Actually, you know what would be better? If I just typed it in here. The tap it. Yeah, no, it's on Twitch. So I'm assuming it's all good. Let's see. I think it should be fine. Mac release date in 21. Race back home across the galaxy. Collect new friends, make new enemies. You won't be able to save everyone. Who will you leave behind? Which civilizations will you save or destroy along the way? The decisions are up to you. Your captain. Okay, let's see. So it looks like a side-scroller... Oh, no, it's a pixel game. Like, it reminds me a bit of um the coffee one I played before. Coffee talk, but yeah. Great for beginners... What rating have we got in the game? Actually, what's its size? What? Okay, that's 1.3 gigs. We can probably download that in this stream. Okay, right. Uh, it's decided. So, this is the game we're going to be playing now. The Captain. Uh, should we... Mm, you know, just in case there's copyright music, I won't play that. Uh, not out loud, anyway.
Okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'm going to actually like this one, but like, again, I I'm not going to go against the um, follower goal, so we're actually going to do it. Right. Uh, oh, wait. I oh, yeah, no, in library, so we can install it. Uh, yes, you can go there. Don't do that. And create the shortcut. Thank you very much. Yes, I've... I definitely have read the agreement, yes. Oh, yeah, see, it's fucking flying. It's already, like... It's going to be downloaded by the time I even type this in. Uh, Tim. Uh, actually, I won't even spoil what the game is in the title. I'll just leave it there. Even though, like, it'll kind of spoil itself, like, once it's downloaded. Right, yeah, that's it. That's the follower goal done. Uh, let me change a bit of the text whilst I do things. So, spin a wheel, side of game, epic games. So now that goes because the next follower stone is a milestone goal for 130 followers, which is the hot tub stream. And I still need to decide what I'm going to do for that. But basically, it looks like I'm going to have to do a bit of a like, big change up on the stream. I might even have to make a brand new scene in OBS just to make it work. Right, please don't fuck with my computer. That's all I ask, game. Just open. Don't be like Bioshock and destroy everything. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'd say we'll play it, like, for a good 30 minutes, maybe to an hour or something like that. So what time is it now? It's 12 minutes. Basically, when it's, like, f the 40-minute mark, that's when I'll probably stop, you know, and go from there. Hey, noob, how's it going? You're just in time for a brand new uh, game that I'm playing on stream. Uh, let me just... Oh, can I not turn down... I'm good, by the way, actually. I, I didn't even answer your question, sorry. How about yourself, noob? Uh, audio. Okay, we don't need to turn it down too much, just here. Graphics. Screen size, full screen. Inputs. Cool. Right. That's good to hear, noob. Ah, I see, it does that every time. That's grand anyway, I didn't have anything in the background to spoil. Uh, let's play. But yeah, as I was saying, we're going to be playing this for a good, like, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Because it was a follower goal to spin a wheel and basically uh, play a new game. Even though I basically went to a random number generator because it was shorter. And, yeah, this is the game that came out. Because the other game that I could have played, which was the original one, <laughs> was a fucking, like, gambling sim, basically. So it's like, eh, I don't think Twitch will like this one. I think we'll just leave that one out. Like, it was literally called, like, something poker, like. Um. Oh, yeah, fucking Honkai Star Rail fucking removed my description for my character when I played that for the first time. And they actually gave me a fucking warning, like, bro, don't be making D's nuts joke. And I was like, man, what? It's like a D's nuts joke. Calm down, like. I have to put in some humor some way, like. But yeah, this game is very, yeah, pixely and all that. Let me actually read it as well. In the year 2255, space is finally conquered by humans, as transwarp technology makes it possible to reach distant stars. Oh, and I can click to move on, thank god. In the centuries to come, humans discover that they are not alone in the universe. Earth reaches out, and a collaborative space fleet between the neighboring systems is founded. An age of peace and prosperity follows, and space fleet... Oh, and space fleet... Space fleet thrives as its foundation. But all is not well in the galaxy. Far from Earth and space fleet borders, dark plans are taking shape. A distant organization known as the Union feels threatened by the rapid expansion of space fleet, and in April of the year 3383 they declare war. Soon thereafter, space fleet learns that the Union has launched its entire fleet towards Earth. Together with the fleet, 
they are bringing an entirely new weapon. Man, this is why, like, when I recorded the DDL series, I had to cut so much shit out in between because I just can't read, like. And I'm writing a light novel as well. The Sun Blaster. Designed to kill stars, it could end all life on Earth in the blink of an eye. Deep in the Utah desert, a new technology is secretly being developed. The Energy Disruptor Electro Pulse U Station, or simply Oedipus? That's a long name for a fucking gizmo. Used at the right moment, Oedipus could disable the entire enemy armada and ensure an immediate and complete victory for Space Fleet. To work, Oedipus needs to be charged by an extremely sophisticated and powerful fuel cell. I will admit that music's getting so loud, like. One of the cells takes years to craft and prepare. For safety and security reasons, they are only developed at the distant and secret deep space station Epsil Epsilon? Epsilon. Yeah, Epsilon, I'd say. A plan is formed to use the Epsilon station's experimental spacefold technology to transport all three existing fuel cells back to Earth. On Earth, Captain Thomas T. Wellmew is enjoying a vacation with his family. As a space fleet scientist specializing in space full technology, he is asked to participate in the transport mission of the fuel cells. Mission day. The elite of space, the elite of space fleet science is present, orbiting Earth. Captain Wellmew is tasked with analyzing the subspace anomaly gate as the crucial space fold transport takes place. At first, the transport seemed to go as planned, but suddenly a flash of light. Oh, suddenly a flash of light. What character do we just pull? Oh, I need to actually move on for this as well. I was going to say, are we going to get into the game, but it sounds like we are. Each end you reach on a planet adventure is set. Oh, okay. I didn't even get to read that that time. I like loading screens where they actually give you the option to stop reading the thing. Come on, wake up. We got a game to play. What happened here? Or what happened, should I say? Ship. Ouch, my head. Yes, I'm very good at voice acting, I know. Ship, respond. Great, no power. A power spike must have released a residual current circuit breaker again. Jeff. Jeff, do you hear me? Hmm, guess not. I'll have to get back there and reset the main fuse. Why the hell am I so hungry? Leave the cockpit. Use this button to highlight things you can interact with. Oh, so I can do that and it'll... That's so weird how it does that, but anyway. Main computer and then exit. But he was saying... Oh, wrong one. Wait, how do I back out from this? Oh, just click. Okay. <laughs> just, just sit back down for a minute. Okay, no, but seriously. Oh, wait. <laughs> but seriously, though, get up. Can I stop that from happening? That's annoying. Nah. It doesn't have that option. Right. Uh, we got door. Can I move? Oh, I can move. Okay. Look around. Drag in-game view to pan camera. Click or hold mouse to walk. Oh, okay, that's a lot better. I can actually see a shit ton more. That's broken. Elevator, that'd be down. The door would be closed, wouldn't it? Crowbar looks like it'd be the only thing. And then the service... Actually, let's try the service droid thing first. Because I feel like of all the things, maybe we should just get some uh, bots to help us out here. Pick up crowbar. In this introduction, you are guided to your next objective by a sparkling doll. Cool, yes. Um... But, but I want to do this. <laughs> I, I want to do this first. Repair. You currently don't have service. Okay. Open. Elevator. Oh. Can you also open the door as well then? Or can you only do one at a time? Uh, lab door. Oh, okay, so that just legit won't open it. Grand. Oh, okay, what, what, what do these mean? This means pick up, I'm assuming, and 
That means lock? Oh my god, we're having the fucking... Must have forgotten it here. If <laughs> Just give me fucking Life is Strange flashbacks for a minute when you'd have Max go up to like the plants or something. No, not even the plants. Just looking at a poster and it's like... That's a firewalk poster. And then that's it. <laughs> just, just end of conversation. Okay, so we're never going to look at things. Unless I absolutely have to. Use the crowbar. Drag items outside inventory window and drag them over. Okay, grand. But we could just go in the elevator instead. Yeah, okay. Let's reset the circuit. And I'm assuming we go in through here. Door panel. My guess is that this door wouldn't open even with the power back online. Oh, there's an actual hatch. But I'm assuming it's decided to be up. If I had something to jam, yeah, I, I, I get the idea, but where's... Oh, this yo. Suicide pit? What? Bro, we just started. We don't need to die already, man. <laughs> we, we can actually just speed run the game right now. Come on, bro, you got this. Really? The crowbar broke after that? Spotty up this elevator shaft. Oh, damn, he's pretty nimble. I'll give him that no. Ah, sure, but yeah, is he playing nimble? And he opened that with his hands when he needed a droid to open it down below, man. Uh, I'm assuming that. And I guess. Well, actually, can we use that at all? Oh, for just the droid. So you need to get the droid below there, up here, but... Bio chair, arcade... I'm assuming none of these things will work until I actually interact with the show and get the power on. But yeah, a good thing about this kind of, like, wheel spin follower goal is that it actually does, like, help me play games I will not play otherwise. Start up initiate, recollect a memory file, stand by. Are you done... Good morning? Is it even morning? I must have dozed off, how odd. No, you didn't doze off. We had an accident. Accident? Are you okay, Captain? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry to have to ask, but what happened? I don't know, really. We were about to witness the transport mission complete when we... Well, I must have fainted because I don't remember anything else. But your internal power grid shut down, so I had to do a man manual reset. Oh, I don't know what you just said there, but anyway. Did we get the fuel cells? I don't know yet. Strange, all my systems seem to be down. I need to do a system by system restart. This may take some time. I really need Jeff now. He could help me do a recalibration of the mainframe. Sure, I haven't seen him though. Do you know where he is? I'm afraid not. My internal scanning system is non-operational. Try to contact Jeff directly with your bracelet. Will do. So I've had this on my wrist and I've only just been like, Oh yeah, th this joke on my, ha my wrist? Yeah, nah, we, we won't use that. Use it to, so wait, communication device around your wrist, use it to stay in contact with your ship and crew for input and ideas. Okay, so I can call the ship again. Okay, so it's the same text until I get Jeff. Oh, Jeff's a robot. Didn't even know that. Where, uh, where are you? What is happening? I'm trapped inside the shuttle bay. With shuttle. No, what was that? Is that you, shuttle? I don't believe this. Jeff, listen to me. Tell me exactly what he is doing. He keeps turning off the lights in here. And he continues to sound the whole breach alarm. What's that? Please, Captain, get me out of here. Shuttle, stop. Please tell shuttle to turn on the lights. Just wait there, little friend. Jeff seems to be stuck in the shuttle bay. Find him and help him out. Okay, but arcade though. This is just like, you don't just introduce an arcade in the. Oh. Oh. Oh, you actually need to. Bro. Is this just gonna give me information on myself? Mess around with this just for fun. It looks like something the Spanish Inquisition would use on heretics. Okay. Oh, I can call Shuttle. Yeah. Shuttle, is Jeff with you in the Shuttle Bay? Yeah, he is. He paraded in here like he owned the lower decks claiming to inspect the day, uh, bay doors. As if my bay doors would need inspection. Well, okay. Something went wrong during the transport of the fuel cells. Perhaps the doors got jammed somehow. Just a thought. 
Perhaps, but stop scaring Jeff, will you? You know he is easily scared. Yeah, that has been tested and confirmed. So let's all act professional here, okay? At this moment, I can leave no such guarantees. Damn a shuttle, I'm coming down there. If you say so. I'm assuming I can use the elevator properly now. Oh yeah, I forgot, I can't do that. Uh, what's the what's the floor below me? I'm assuming it's the main. Yeah. So and then below me would be more. Stay clear when closed. Lab door. That won't open. That definitely won't do anything. Okay, Grant. I'm just like having a little look around just to see like what could be done and what can't be done. You know. Is that the shuttle door? There's the airlock. I mean, that's the only thing that's shining, so. Damn. Could you open the door? Is that you, Cap? Yes, yeah, shuttle, it is me, your superior officer. <laughs> superior. What door might you be referring to, if I may be so bold? The door to you, shuttle. You have it locked. If you, eh, Jesus, I can't read. You have locked it from the inside. Just open it, will you? Don't act stupid now. Well, in my case, it's an act, at least. Shuttle, open! Easy there, Tiger. I'm working on it. I was sure my hydraulics were acting up again. Well, it's about time to get rid of this little intruder in here anyway. But for future knowledge, I don't like your mission snooping around all over my bay, Cap. Your bay? Just open the door and let Jeff out. Open sesame. Jeff, let's go. Oh, Captain, thank you. Shuttle won't let me out. Well, he is a bit... different. You should discipline him, Captain. I got really intimidated in there. Well, to be honest, Jeff, even though he shouldn't be teasing the crew, you are still a member of Space uh, Fleet. Therefore, one could expect you to... Um, how should I put this? Well, not to be afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of what's in it. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, buddy. Sure, buddy, sure. I'll talk to a shuttle later. I will try to be stronger in the future. That's good. Now wipe off that hydraulic oil leakage and be proud of surviving yet another visit to the shuttle bay. I overheard the ship is having problems with some of the systems. Yeah, we seem to be... Uh, why does... Man, why does my brain do that? It just It's reading and then just cuts out randomly. Yeah, we seem to have had an incident with the transport. We should get the ship back in shape before anything else. Okay. I'll need to get back to my workstation. Okay, I'll come with you. No, I want to go down the end. Don't force me to go up here. Not cool. Now, let's see. Checking systems. It looks like we have a short circuit in the lab. But that will have to wait for now. I have to stay here and finish recalibrating the ship. I can take care of the lab problem. Oh, okay. That would be great, Captain. Hmm, I guess the door to the lab isn't working. I'll just unlock the hatch to the maintenance tunnels for you. Oh, so I can go through in and go in from there. Thanks. No problem. I've sent you details uh, to your info pad. The info pad is a tablet used by spacesuit personnel for keeping current task and mission briefings up to date. Oh, so this is just like... Okay, so th this is literally just information about a lot of things. This, if you want your lore, here's all your lore. Um, so I need to go there. <laughs> but there's something downstairs. Just let me check it out real quick. Actually, is there... Oh, there is something. What's here? Oh, wait, there's a thing message as well. That's just thing, isn't it? Countdown to attack. Two years, one day. Time until the Union's weapon and the Sun Blaster arrives in shooting range of the sun. Damn. You have a lot of time to prepare, but... I'm guessing it's not as easy as doing thing, is it? 
Air, wait, caution, do not lock airlock with personnel inside. Okay, cool, we're not dead. <laughs> I was gonna be like, <laughs> imagine. Oh, okay, so yeah, okay, grand. I'm assuming this is for later. Because we have a spacesuit option as well. Damn, fella's not even in a hurry, like here. Right, back to engineering. My kind of forte. And then we slowly just walk down the end. So we got hatch to cruise quarters, and then this is the one I need to go to. I kind of... Actually, if I get locked in, I don't really... Yeah, I'm just going to go in the lab. We can always go into the cruise quarters in a second. Chew. What do we got? Oh, you're taking one? Is that health? Lab chew. For mixing compounds. Oh, did you actually take more? <laughs> just, I'll just take one. No, no, go on. Let, let's take all of them. Okay, you have enough. Fine. Harry Pooper. Place test tubes in this if I need to heat the content. Oh, okay, so we're going to have to actually make something. Clean lab equipment after experiments. The door. Uh, storage. Lab terminal. I'm going to just look at everything else. I'm going to assume the door won't open yet. Recipes. Plastic material commonly used for patching up spaceships after a whole breach. So used for high energy pyrotechnics, warning extensive smoke. Used power source. So I'm assuming we need to make this. Mix spore acid and tuber toll. Heat to 100 degrees and weigh. Spore acid and tuber. Spore acid and where's ch oh yeah tubertol and then a hundred degrees wasn't it oh wait no it's already on it okay and then a hundred so wait do I can I oh wait so I meant to mix them yeah there we go and then heater. Uh, can I, can I... Okay, but I, I, I have thing now. D how, how do I heat it? Wow, cool, yes, yeah, okay, maybe I need to actually look the door. Problem with the door. Disconnect cable behind the panel, this should be an easy fix. Oh wait, did I even need to make the explosive? <laughs> I didn't even- No, please. Ah. The ship is in good condition again. Captain. Yes, yeah, ship? I've just finished analyzing our surroundings and I've got some really strange readings here. Could you please come to the cockpit right away? Of course. God damn it, I made explosives for no reason, man. Feels bad. I made two of them as well. I don't even know why I made two. I just did. I want to go in there. I want to see what the crew core is like, if I can even go in it. I love the way it's still sparkling, as if I need to go in it again. Really? After... <sighs> Fine, go back in the lab then. There you go. Not too shabby. And over we go. I don't have thing on, do I? No. Oh, I, I didn't even know I could do that. I was just zooming in and out for thing. Report. Captain, with the reservation that my sensors might have gone completely off the rail, something really unexpected has occurred. We are no longer orbiting Earth. What? We're not even in the right sector. What do you mean? Where are we? My sensors tell me that we are currently in the outer regions. The outer regions? You mean where the transport originated from? Even further away. Somehow we must have entered the gateway as the transport took place. How is it even possible? Unclear. 
There must have been a vortex anomaly along the d uh, deck two aligners or something uncalibrated. Captain? Why is it? I'm detecting a massive energy buildup from the wormhole. If you want to try to return through it, we sh should go as soon as possible. Ah, fuck it! Yeah, go through it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's go through the portal right now. I am programmed to warn you, but this is an unknown procedure, procedure and there is no evidence that this will work. Understood. Take us in. Am I gonna die because I'm stupid? What happened? The wormhole disappeared. We were too slow. What? Damn. Any signs of it reappearing? None. It's as if it was never there. And that is not all. The transport mission failed. None of the, th none of the three fuel cells managed to reach Earth. How do you know that? My short-range sensors can detect all three of them scattered around this sector. Oh my god. Earth defense requires that at a minimum one of those cells to stop the sun blaster. Looks like we are out of options here. We need to grab at least one fuel cell ourselves and rush back to Earth before it's too late. Show me where your sensors picked up the lost fuel cells. Yes sir, stand by. Fuel cells are located on these three planetary bodies. So desert planet, Soma, and... Creon Crystal? I believe our transport mission just got updated to a salvage expedition. Any ideas on how to proceed? We're actually not that far from Space Station uh, Epsilon. The transport station that tried to send back the fuel cells? Yes, the very same. It's located over here. One logical action would be to investigate what went wrong during the transport mission. Okay. Show me again, so wait, tell me again about the space station, show me again where to find the fuel cells, is there anything else I could do? Oh, I think I know what to do now. Uh, yeah, I think I know what to do. What to do now, good to hear, sir. Let's get going. You've reached a new ending, starting up. Wait, no, do we actually just finish the game? Or no, wait, it says so it begins, there's no way that's an ending. After you've found the first fuel cell and have stored it in your special vault, you are free to use something something. Captain. Yeah? Day zero. I've detected an emergency signal coming from one of the planets where the fuel cell is located. I guess to check it out. Actually, you have to check that out. According to Space Fleet regulations, emergency signals should always be investigated immediately. Yes, I know that ship. Show me on the map, please. Okay, thank you. Captain? Yeah? I'm finished with activating the ship now. All systems should be in working condition. Great, thank you. Uh, so do we go, or what's the story? Oh, I'm assuming it's this, isn't it? Captain? Yeah? I was just scanning through my internal log. It doesn't look like you have uh, tried out the new battle simulator yet. No, I haven't. I'm a scientist, not a warrior. I just want to remind you of your current situation. We're in the outer regions. There are a lot of dangerous groups out here that wouldn't think twice about hurting you. The battle simulator might have been installed as a preparation for the war, but could just as well be used as a precaution for any hostile environment. I could guide you through if it met you want. Uh, yes, well... Do I have to battle? No, you don't have to. You should save... You should be able to stay clear of any danger zones out there, but the fact remains, there is a war coming. You need to prepare to get home fast. The red sectors I have marked on the star map are known uh, are known criminal monsters. They are wanted dead or alive by Space Fleet, and the salvage after a battle could be traded or used to forge essential equipment for the ship. Okay, we'll start. I'm guessing, like, this is like a thing we can do to risk our lives to do thing. Is that Wheatley? <laughs> it nearly looks like Wheatley. I know that's probably just a pretty ship now looking at but still. This is a battle simulation. He can try out equipment and new tactics without it affecting anything in reality. I know it looks real, but everything is just simulated, just pixels and code. Let's attack that simulated enemy ship. Press on the attack icon to choose the enemy ship and choose lasers. What's lasers? I'm assuming this is? 
Well done. Now, let's just end our round. I thought I was pressed there for that. Uh-oh, we forgot to defend against enemy fire. I took a bit of damage that you could see on the health bar right beneath the representation of me. This? No. This. This? No. Yes. This. There. Yeah. The damage also increased my internal stress level stated in the lower bar. If the health reaches zero on, or the stress level reaches 100, I will not stay assembled anymore. So let's defend this time. My energy shield should be able to produce or protect against that laser fire. Press on the defend icon. Rats. We don't seem to have enough energy to activate the shields. You now have the option of reducing the shield's absorption level uh, and that way lower its energy consumption. But let's do something else instead. First just exit the shield startup screen. You can see on the enemy meter that we didn't have enough energy for the shields. This bar shows our current enemy amount. This number tells us how much energy we have left to spend this round. Wait, where's the enemy one again? I have already forgotten. <laughs> I've, I've actually already forgotten. Um, uh, these are not the same at the moment because your laser action is still active from the last round. You have a couple of options now. You could remove the attack action and get more available energy that way, or you could use one of Jeff's special abilities. Let's do the latter. Jeff has an ability called More Energy. The icon in the top corner indicates that we can only use this uh, a limited number of times. However, you don't have to worry about that now. My simulator never used up real resource from you. Press the card called More Energy. Good job. We now have more energy. Should be enough to both attack and defend. Uh, I'll leave you to get fighting on your own. Remember that the battle simulator also could be used to try out new equipment and strategies in a safe way. It could be initiated at any time from the main computer screen. Good luck. But can I? I can select that as well, but... Plasma shield. Protects against plasma. I'm assuming it's because it's blue we just use this one. Can I use this as well? Not enough. Okay. Grand. Wait, did I, I... Did I shield them? What? I'm so confused. What did I just do? I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? Can I swap it? Shit. Oh fuck, I ruined it. Uh oh. Uh, Jeff, what do you have? Yeah, there you go. Just, just, just using their energy, you know, why not? So wait, battery max boost. Boost the battery max level of stressing ship systems. Max energy, plus 10 rest of battle, da da da. Regeneration, uh, boost thing. So, I'm dead now, aren't I? How how do I shield? What am I doing? I actually have no clue what I'm doing wrong. I thought the shield was meant to protect me, was it not? Am I this dumb? Because that is us, isn't it? Or is that us? Um, yeah, that's us, Joe. Isn't it? Because it's just like... Why would I be giving the enemy the shield? Yeah, no, so it should be grand then. Why can't I continue it? Do I have to use these cards every time? You know, that's confusing why we were on the right side. That just goes to show how many times in games you're on the left and not on the right. Yeah, can we just not do the battle sim anymore? Oh shit, wait, I didn't even read that. 
desert planet. Arrival in 10 days. That's not that bad, actually. Would you guys stay in a spaceship for 10 days just to travel to a planet? I know I would. I <laughs> just, honestly. That's not even a bad shout. But now, we're so primitive. We have to take a rocket to Mars and it'll take like months to go there. Like. You know, I really do hope like by 2030 we actually do start Mars exploring missions and stuff. And then we come across the Traveler and the whole, like, we all go through a golden age and so on and so forth. Oh wait, I meant to do that, yeah. <laughs> I meant to do this. Captain. Yeah? We have arrived at the planet from which the distress signal originated. Got it. I have a, uh, pinpointed the correct landing locations for both the signal transmission and the fuel cell location. Okay. Oh yeah, we're meant to check it out, aren't we, first, before we do thing. Okay, ship, prepare to shuttle for landing. I'm going down to check on that signal. Aye, aye. Or Zane or Zane Jean. Knowing what weapon to use... Okay, cool. Sob. Very funky. <laughs> just... Landing complete. Another one fill filed under P for perfect. Really? It sounded like something broke. Nope, without a hitch. Smooth sailing all the way. I don't know, Shuttle. I'm pretty sure I heard a loud bang. A bang? <laughs> Not from me, you didn't. Is that the power coupling on the ground. What? Where? Oh, that. You can see that far? It's right there on the ground. Come on, Shuttle. Why do you keep lying about these things like this? I'm not trying to give you... I'm just trying... I'm just trying to give you relevant information you can actually use. I'm pretty sure this is relevant information I can actually use. I'm doing the best I can here. So the power coupling outside the window was the bang I heard. Yep. Okay, great report there, Shuttle. I guess we ain't getting off this planet until that is fixed. Head on the nail there, sir. I better get out looking for a solution. Are you still getting that emergency single? Signal? Yeah, it's pretty weak, though. Power coupling before I can leave. The Thousand Year Man. It's still sizzling hot. I better wait. No need to burn the digits. Okay. Why can't I close the door after? That feels weird. I'm guessing I can't get that, can I? Did you just say somehow? Wall socket. This panel seems to be missing a cable. Okay, at least we have a door. And I'm guessing we change it around later for thing. Meat freezer. Oh, huh, why do I think they're dead? Looks like somewhat somewhat like a space fleet engineer uniform. Must be the old version. It's big kitchen meat freezer. There's a human body inside. <clears throat> I don't think that is how you operate this freezer. What 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 do you want me to do? Someone has someone has modified the freezer's display to function as a EKG monitor. I think that's a heartbeat monitor, isn't it? Me freezer message system. Okay, I have an idea. Oh wait, no, back. Oh wait, what was it called again? Nah, I wouldn't know. Close. No, uh, yeah, just look at it. I have read about these computers in school. They were based on the old e MEF-MES structure. 
Wouldn't surprise me if I could sell this machine to a collector for quite a bit of cash. Head <laughs> the door. Wait, could I? Oh, wait, before I completely leave. Notes. My name is da 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 former some crashing oh four two cool that's all I needed to know <laughs> just like I'm sorry that's all I care about oh my god heard you're on a cargo run. Still keeping that uh, sewing girl entertained. Let's keep in touch. Since hearing about attack on your ship. 980 A2. Man, look at the year dates, man. Time frozen, 989 years. Fierce of content, unknown, possibly chicken. Are they saying human meat tastes like chicken? Start process. Cannot start process low power. Reset system. Cannot reset. Open the freezer. Open. You cannot. Okay, just everything's low power. Cool. Wait, go back. Okay, so I assume we need to go out, go up the ladder, get the other wire or something like that, and then go from there. Can I... Where, where's the wire? Okay. Will not stay up by itself. I need to find something to tie it up with. Okay, can you go over here? Plug board. It is a regular old style plug board for power cables. Okay, thanks for the information, but how does that help me? Okay, so yeah, every time I do that, it does that. Is there. Oh! Legit, just right here, another power cable. Like. Oh, yeah, I could just do that and it stays so open. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's because I need to do thing, right? How do I... Oh, I need to attach thing first, don't I? There we go. Now we can do it. Uh... Or do I do it like this? Okay, fine. We'll go back down and reconnect it and then we'll do the thing. I guess. Oh, wait. No, I, he meant fucking put it back up and then do the thing. There we go. I'm assuming I could just take this out. Oh my god, just, yeah, I know. Just let me do thing, thank you. Back inside we go. Right, and now I should be able to do things. because it's not low power anymore. Oh, there's just a random chip in there. Okay, cool. Don't know what that is, but guess it's useful for something? Um. Uh, wait, is this wrong? Wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, wait. I think I just killed him. <laughs> I just fucking killed him! Oh, shit. I just see the text down here. It's like, oh, no. What do you mean, how do you stop it? You've already fucking- you're grinding him already, like. 
You think it's too late. Well. Um. Pff, it's nicely wrapped. Meat package. Wait, what is that? This could fit a uh, power coupling casing. Okay, but we killed this guy by accident. Who's been frozen for like 900 years, like. Okay, yeah, cool. We're just going to take it with us. Maybe there's someone who likes human meat out there or something. I don't know. God, I feel horrible. I shouldn't have just... I should have just fucking opened it or something like that and seen. Or went through the other process. I mean, it's your man's fault for putting himself in a fucking freezer. And having these different options. And not, like, uninstalling them or something. So, so... I'm assuming... Well, actually, yeah, I think I should just go back. I'm assuming I can pick it up now. Okay, but can I put it back on? Still missing. Oh my god. What is it missing? The what? The meat. Joe, it's obviously missing me. <laughs> okay, is there anything in here? No, I'm assuming not. What? What's missing? Panel, ladder. Yeah, let's just go back to the scene of the crime. Let's see if we can find anything else. Just completely steal everything this man had going for him. Oh wait, couldn't I, didn't he say like he could take the computer or something like that? Nah, it just it just makes me feel uneasy that we just did that. Is there anything on the clothes? Is there anything down here? No. Display. Okay, but like what how what what do I take? Is there anything else? Drawer? What what's missing? I actually have, have no clue. Unless I go back outside and it's something to do with the um sun panels. Oh, it's the wire, isn't it? I bet it's the fucking wire. Yeah. So, that was, uh, eventful. We just killed a man for no reason. To be fair, though, to be fair, he probably wouldn't have just given us all the shit anyway. Let's think of the positives, right? We probably just killed the worst person imaginable. And then grinded up through a meat grinder. <laughs> Alone. Oh my god. Yay, new cargo, let's go. Um, cool, I guess I'm just... I wish I could just go straight up. Hey guys, do you like my deck? My deck is the good deck. All my neighbors like my deck. Imagine we go through this again we fucking don't actually land in the right place. That'd be tragic. Or like another thing breaks. Oh, thank god we could skip it. I, I love the way it's like skip but it's still giving us like a little like transition into it. Unless I just didn't click it fast enough. Houston, we have landed. Landing complete. And also a fuel cell detected. You found the fuel cell? Don't sound so surprised, Captain. You should know by now that I operate on a different level. So where is it? Just over there in the sand. Oh. Pfft. Is it actually that simple? I feel like something else... I cannot do that from... Well, get out of the fucking pod. 
What can you... Cappy, are you sure you can get back up again? Tor, I found a way. I'm not worried. I am hopeful. Got it. That was easy. I guess there isn't anything else to do here now. I feel like there is something, isn't there? I'm not going to be able to go back up that way. Ah, right, go on, give it a shot. Now come down here first, right? Look, big rock. Yes, move big rock. I could try to push it aside. I'm actually surprised that even worked. That was heavy. You found a way back up? Yeah, I think so. Yippee! <laughs> Sorry, I just it just reminded me of that fucking meme. Let's cut the sarcasm in the future missions. We're in future missions. <laughs> Climb friendly markings. That's nearly sounded like the fucking Minecraft um dirt block sound, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just up, down, up, down. Right, okay, let's go back. No, to go back. Yeah, if anyone in the crew asks what happened to that man in the freezer, we'll, we'll just say, like, uh, we don't know. We'll just say it's an old signal, you know? I'm assuming we're going to lose stuff eventually. Like the will to live or something like that. Welcome back. I can detect that you have obtained one of the lost fuel cells. Congratulations. I strongly recommend that you secure the cell right away. I agree. This thing will save the space fleet. Is this a uh, quarantine storage module online? Checking. No issues indicated. It is good to go. Great. Just secure it on the insertion arm and I'll take care of the rest. Sir, yes sir. Indeed. Alex, how's it going? I've caught yeah, I've secured a fuel cell. Oh, that's it. Can I do anything else? I'm assuming that's it. Captain! What's wrong? We are hitting land. I don't know why when you said captain it reminded me of the um See a Thieves meme where he's like, CAPTAIN! And it just starts playing fucking Pirates of the Caribbean sound or music. <laughs> right, what are we actually doing? Ship equipment. Uh, <laughs> we, we don't talk about the cargo. We, 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 we leave the cargo there. Uh, just just shush shush. I'm sorry, Captain, but the auto forge system is out of order at the moment. I believe it was slightly damaged during the transport incident. However, I should be able to repair it using a single energy capsule. Where can I find that? <clears throat> I was in sauna and now I'm traumatized. Oh God. What naked people did you see? The easiest way to obtain energy capsules is simply to buy them from a trade station. Keep in mind that they can be quite expensive here in the outer regions. If you are desperate enough or just out of funds, I would recommend you lead us into battle. When a ship explodes, it's not uncommon that these things are unharmed and simply just scatter into space, and battle spoils are free. No, the stories. Oh, you just told a bunch of stories, yeah. Um, I think that's it. Because we got the yoke, I think we could just go to the station? Oh shit, I already- Okay, we're engaged, cool. 54 days. Stepfather told kind of traumatizing stories. Damn, hope you're alright, honestly, after that. Oh fuck, we crossed through the hostile region, I didn't even know that. Meanwhile, back in the space, fe space fleet sector. Uh, of course, but truth is truth, yeah. Could not change history. Hmm. 
Transit ship Andromeda. Da, da, da. I didn't even get to see what that was. Hoffman. Yes, ma'am. Have you seen this latest report from the Ortis? I gave it a glance before we left. Why? Looks like they had some issues with the spooling coils. Yeah, I noticed. I sent a memo to Lieutenant Panda concerning our expectations from engineering. <laughs> what? Lazy Panda's in the end? What? Madness. Very good. We need the station to perform at peak efficiency ASAP. About that, Commander. Yes, Grant. Since we will be the point of the fence, I recommend that we change the shift uh, rotation upon arrival. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And give the night shift some extra recreational time. In case of an incident, we need them rested. Any news about the transport mission, Commander? No, the loss of those fuel cells really is a concern. And Thomas? Nothing. Couldn't Epsilon Station tell us something? No, it all just went terribly wrong. I mean, I'm sure he is okay, but he is my husband and I know him to be very to be a very resourceful man. Uh, he will find his way home, I can feel it. Yes, ma'am. For the moment, I really need you guys to stay focused on your mission in the war. Of course, Commander. The Union sure will get a fight they will not soon forget. It looks like we are about to arrive at Ortis Station, so, or Ortis soon. Go and get your stuff so we can get to our post as soon as possible. Yes, Commander. A short while thereafter... Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I have to keep clicking on everything. Defense Station Ortis, Space Fleet Sector. Commander? Yes, Hoffman? I got some signals that I find worrying. Send them to my station. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yeah, I can see what you mean here. It could be just some background noise, I guess. But there is a signal phase in there that almost looks like... Commander! Enemy contact. Damn. Shields up! I don't know why I randomly decided to just switch to the fucking Datsuki voice. <laughs> What are they doing here? How did they get through the barrier? Good question, Hoffman. Any signs of activity from them? Checking? No, nothing. Hail them. Yes, ma'am. What is that? The enemy just locked some type of energy beam on us. Is it hurting us? Hold on. No, not at the moment. But our shields are losing power fast. We'll not. We'll be defenseless in less than a minute. Do whatever it takes to keep those shields up. Yes, ma'am. Engineering. I need a full power transfer to the shield stat. Hoffman. Yes, Commander. Contact Space Fleet Headquarters. Right away, ma'am. This is General Sarah Wellmu, Commander at Defense Station Ortis. Admiral Duelist, Ter, here. <laughs> just sorry, I read that so wrong. We just got surrounded by a squadron of Union fighters. As of 30 seconds ago, we are at red alert. What, inside the barrier? How is that possible? We haven't heard a word from barrier control. How did they get through? Unclear at this moment. The Union fleet should still be a year away from our borders. We suspect they might, or they have been granted access to the Lyman space gate. Oh my god. If this is true, we have a serious situation here. Admiral, we have just confirmed that the enemy ships jumped from the Lime Ace sector. They're using the space gate. Goddamn Lime. Commander, how are you holding up out there? Uncertain. They have locked some type of multi-phase beam onto our shield. They're trying to drain its power and make it shut down. However, we just managed to stop the drain by shutting down all of our non-essential systems and rerouting power to defense generators. But the beam is still active, and I don't know how long we can counter this effect. Send us all your data so we can start analyzing this beam. Maybe we can find us some way to disrupt this attack. We will also send you as many fighters as we can spare. Thank you, Admiral. 
We are transmitting all data we gather to you as we speak. You hang in there, Commander. Yes, sir. Defense Station Ortis out. God, Natsuki, you do all the work you need to do. Captain. The airship? I've just picked up a distress message from the barrier control. Show me on the map, please. What, the me what does the message say? The Union has just launched a full-scale attack on the entire space fleet sector. They have taken over the barrier control station and moved their entire fleet through. Oh my god. Is the Sun Blaster with them? No, fortunately not. It seems to be preemptive, a preemptive strike to obtain control over the Space Fleet Defense Forces before the Sun Blaster arrives. It's not looking good, sir. All the major stations are currently under siege and cannot fight back. What? How is that possible? The Union appears to be, have deployed a new kind of suppressor beam that renders the stations helpless. They're all transmitting distress signals requesting help. They need outside forces to destroy the Union ships that shoot the beams. I'm not sure that we are powerful enough to aid them. No, not in our current state. But there might be an alternative way to help them besides brute force. Space, Space Fleet has managed to send out a blueprint for a disruptor that can disable the suppressor beams. If the beam goes down, the outpost shouldn't have any problems defeating the siege forces themselves. So if I manage to create this equipment, we should be able to save the outpost without fighting? Well, you'll actually have to create five of them if you are to save all of the outposts. One disruptor can only be used one single time. However, I must remind you that saving the outpost alone will not save Earth. Our main goal is to get the fuel cell back to Oedipus. Without Oedipus charged, there's nothing that can stop the Sun Blaster. The outpost should remain your secondary objective. Isn't there some other way we can... Isn't there some other way through the outer barrier besides using the barrier control station? There is another way in, but it's a high-risk option. And you'll have to go outside Space Fleet regulations. There's an unofficial smuggler's route through the barrier that the authorities failed to get rid of. They are currently operating over at this sector. If you choose this path, be ready to pay a high price. If my data is up to date, they are demanding at least three star fragments to let a ship through. Isn't a star fragment the base component of our fuel cells? Yes, it is. They are also required if you want to upgrade your weapon and defense systems. So choose carefully on how you spend them, if you manage to find some. Not without a fight. Fight the Union? No offense, but you are designed for science. You will, of course, have to prepare for such an encounter. I'll need bigger guns and perhaps even a bigger crew for that option to be viable. Okay, I think I know my choices now. Good, I'll update the star map with all the recent information for you. Hmm. God, okay, wait. We have options, so we can continue or stop. Day 35. Oh, so it's not 54, because we're actually pulling the brakes. I can actually go to the Hour League territories if I want, but I don't think I'll bother. Merchant. I didn't even go to the Merchant. That's where we are, I'm assuming. Uh, and then there's the Epsilon Station, which will still take us another, like, what, 20-odd days to even reach? And what's this? Come over thing if you're looking to offload some unnecessary cargo or perhaps looking for something to affect your negotiation skills, like a rocket launch system. Okay, so we can go there, but it'll take 20 days. We can go to Soma. A fuel cell could be found there. And a fuel cell could be found here as well. What's this then? And then, okay. Oh, 
I'd say we should go look for another thing cell and then go to the trade verse and then sneak through the yoke. Because we are trying to get to Earth, like, in the soonest time possible. On a ship not too far away from you. Oh god, it's, oh, enemy ship. Evelyn's Battle Cruiser, Asteroid Belt uh, Pandora. Well, this was a bad idea. Sir. Yes, what is it? I'm kind of busy here. Well, we did another scan of the quadrant and. Wait, I'm about to upgrade. Save that thought. What is he doing? Jeez. Bro, what the fuck is he going through? What is he doing? Are you okay, Chief? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. In fact, I'm better than okay now. New nose, huh? Not just a new nose, Rob. This one, this is one of the triple nostril type 5 modules we came over last week. Really? I have the capacity of a jacked up bloodhound now. This is great. Looks good too. The metal in the middle of your face, that is. Do you have anything to report, Sergeant? Wow, yeah, sorry, sir. We found another strange concentration of, uh, dromium. Where did this one pop up? Same place as the last one. We will not lose this one, Rob. No, sir. Well, set an intercept course and intercept. Day 50. Captain. Yeah? I found some strange things about this planet that I want to share with you. Sure, go ahead. My scans show that this planet is highly advanced. There are huge cities all over the surface, and there's probably a chance here to find some new interesting technology. However, the scans show no higher form of life anywhere on the planet. If you decide to go down there, I recommend extreme caution. Okay. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> it just goes anyway. Contact land. Initiating communication. Welcome, stranger. Uh, thank you. I'm Captain Wellmove Space Fleet. This is a pre-recorded message. Oh. When you listen to this, all of us will probably have left this system long ago. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused you and wish you better luck on your next destination. From all the former inhabitants of Planet Soma, what was all that about? Ah, sure, but yes, let's just go down anyway. Ah, ah sure, let's just have a good, uh, let's have a good little bit of look, like. Oh, it's a different tune now as well, going down. Maybe this planet's like got um sun problem. Can I leave? What happened here? Unclear, Captain. This place is enormous and completely abandoned? The sensors detect no advanced biological life forms. Where did everyone go? Who built all of this? Again, unclear, Captain. Maybe we should take a closer look. I can't say with any measure of certainty what this is. But if I were to guess, I'd say it's some type of weather station. Whatever it might be, it is not powered. Damn, I am so... <laughs> Look at me! I'm literally a few pixels just popping up and down. Look at that. Can I... I can't even zoom in. Subspace network hub. Abandoned utilities truck. Truck door. Ah, sure, let's activate it. Let's see what happens. If it works. Never mind, it wouldn't work with it. Oh, and we had one, but we used it for the fucking ship, like. I guess if I ever get into a spot of trouble, I use the suicide pill. 
end the playthrough early. It's locked, but there's something that looks like a keycard slider next to the door. I should give it a try. Fine, don't give it a try then. Just give up, like. Is there anything I can do? Oh, we're in the next section now. Broken droid, power control. This could be the power supply station for the ventilation tower. It's closed with a hatch. I bet the controls for the ventilation system are behind these metal shutters. Okay, but what do you want me to do? Crater. No, I, 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 I meant look, I meant look, just look. Impact location of a fuel cell. It seems to have buried deep into the sand. I could try to dig through the sand, but I don't think that would work. The sand is too loose and will keep filling up the hole. So droid, he's completely covered in some type of mold. By the looks of it, he broke down a long time ago. Hey, there is a keycard next to the body. I'm taking it. There's nothing I could do for this poor droid. Wait, it was... Oh no, it was this, wasn't it? That the keycard could be used on. And then there's also the other yoke as well. I bet the controls the ventilation... Uh, oh yeah, yeah, let's try that. And then go back to the truck. <laughs> it's just so, like, adorable just watching the little pixels just bop up and down. Wait, can I not? Oh, wait, yeah, because I need a... Hydraulic engine. It's some type of hydraulic engine. Looks like this is what opened the door. I would guess this thing once controlled other systems as well. Charging station. Some kind of battery rack for charging batteries, I guess. Not much I can use except for charging batteries. Big red button. Hmm, maybe check the droid first and then we'll go from there. I don't think the destroyed is activated. Um, sounded like a power build-up. Nothing happened though. <laughs> I like the sound, we keep doing it. Maybe if I keep bugging it, it'll wake up. Oh wait, multi tool Tool stock can't budge it. I need to get the droid to loosen its iron grip around it. <laughs> I just I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna have to leave. Like, is there anything? I don't think so. I think that's it, honestly. Can I use the key card on this as well? Or is that a no? Oh yeah, no, I need a chip for it. I shouldn't bother go back up there. Unless there's something over like this way, I don't really think there's much else we can do. Nah, I don't think it would work. Ah, go on, give it a try. D just dig it out like it'll be grand. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what else to do. Unless I miss something inside the truck. It's close of a hatch. I'm bound to find it eventually. Well, hopefully. Go outside. The game just subconsciously telling me thing. Oh. Fell out of the small space. I can attach it to the wall.
Yeah, okay, fine. I'll just attach it to the yoke. I thought I could help the droid, you know? Okay, can I pick this up and then do that? Oh, no, okay, you drop it. Are you sure I can't just plug that into thing? No, it's only a thingy icon. Oh, wait, no, it's not. What do I do with it then? Let's go outside. That's an engine. Unless I meant to drag it. Okay, that's a bad... Look, we found something, Joe. It must be for fucking something, like... No. Yeah, you see, you just kind of drop it, like... Like... Yeah, see, that doesn't work. And that doesn't... Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. I think I need to do something here. There we go. Initiating internal systems. Stand by. Negative sensor input. Executing conversational protocol. Negative. Recovering status update. Stand by. Reboot startup sequence. Complete. M morning. Good. Offworlder. What or who are you? I am Straw. Straw? A system transfer radio android model W. What happened? I am finding it difficult to form coherent sentences. The fungus is still growing. It has already affected my speech center. A fungus? It feeds on bio uh, biological tissue and my biochemical circuits. I shut myself down after losing control of my body. What is this fungus? The fungus is what you see growing all around you. In fact, it is the only thing growing on this planet now. It started beneath the ground and fed on organic tissue, consuming everything on its way. May I ask you something? You just did, but sure, go ahead. Who are you? I'm Thomas Wellmo. I'm trying to get back home and landed here to retrieve a lost fuel cell. I understood, or understand. Do you need any assistance? Uh... Where are all the inhabitants? I'm sorry, I'm finding it hard to locate my memory files. If you'd like access to my computer memory archive, I need time to defragment my core byte file. Okay, I'll be back. Hello again. I'm still... Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, do... Oh, wait, would I... Can I do this? Guess not. I'm just meant to bring it outside. See what I mean, though, about, like, random games I just never give a chance, and now I'm actually into playing this. I was thinking Power Turn, I might, get, like, slip out of it from the combat stuff, but it's like, if I can avoid combat, I'm good. Actually, can I just... Oh, yeah, wait, I forgot I can call people. Shuttle? What now? Why don't you talk to your new friend? The old broken droids in the wreck. Oh, are they ready? I'm assuming they are. Okay, there's that, that, and another droid. If I can save the other droid as well, I'd love to try that. There we go. There's something inside it. Oh, a battery, yeah, because we need that. Can I hook up the battery to you? This tool is a fi uh, fine tool indeed, it, and it should be well suited to help with opening and closing things. But these shutters are just way too strong and sturdy. Yeah, no, it won't work. 
I love the way it went green as well, as if I could actually do something with it as well. Hello again. I'm still defragmenting and finding it hard to focus while talking. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't matter where I put it, it's just gonna do. Oh, am I gonna have to disconnect it? I think I'm gonna have to disconnect the droid just to be able to do this, right? No! Oh, shit. Power absorbed. Okay, do you mind then if I just rob that? Really? You're, oh, you're gonna do that to me? Oh yeah, because I have to do that. Wait. Okay, first I need to put the battery back. I need to grab this. And then I need to drag it from here. I forgot. Okay, we have a battery now. That's charged. Defragmentation complete. If you have any more questions, now is the time. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm not fully functional, and my time left here is limited. What can I do to help you? I am shutting down. My internal systems are infected. Nothing can be done to this body. Where are all the inhabitants? Please clarify which group of inhabitants you refer to. The fathers or the oats? The fathers, the oats, what are you talking about? The fathers were the indi indi indigenous biological species of this planet. They lived and flourished here many eons, and then 800 years ago they all perished. What happened? There's no complete record on how this event occurred, but a sickness started to spread in the form of a fungus. The fungus infected the fathers and damaged their DNA, and completely disabled their reproduction system. Can they have eradicated the fungus? The fathers are, had developed something they called the Yacht, the an organic artificial technology. It served as a planet support system and help them live in peace and harmony. As the reality of all the problem drew closer, the fathers removed all the oath restrictions and asked it to find a solution. Uh, with the oath's complete control over all the planet's artificial systems, it, he started to work on a solution. Time ran out. The last father, aged 96 seasons, died alone somewhere on the ocean west of here. Are you the oath? I am... Um... My f memory files are corrupt. More time is needed to restore secondary memory backup. Stand by. I'll be back later. I'm just going to pop out and see if this battery is working. Then I'll, I'll leave him with it in so like if he does deactivate I can reactivate him. Uh, the battery I think was for here up there wasn't it? Because, well, unless I can do it with the shutters now, but I don't think I can. I mean, I got that from there. I can't bring that there. No, yeah, it was back up the elevator. Wait, if the yoke up there had no power, how does the elevator work? <laughs> I just realized that there. What, no? Huh? Okay, I guess we're going back down. Um, card. Why don't you talk? I can't click the other guys. Okay, but so what do I do? 
Because I couldn't take the wire out, could I? Unless I can. Because if I could take the wire out... But then again, what would be the point? To reactivate the other droid? Vehicle's desperate need of some old-fashioned mechanical look. Yuck. The surface is covered with a thick and sticky fungus. Oh, wait. Can I... There's no way I could use that now. No. no. <laughs> Just... Yeah, no. That was the opening initially. And then that's the battery. Okay, but what am I doing? Unless I'm meant to go left or something instead? Because I don't think I can go... Fire. Oh, will you look at that? The shutters opened over at the ventilation tower. These controls are completely broken. I guess someone needs to fix them somehow. Hmm, I wonder what tool we could use for that. It's <laughs> just, I wonder. Please don't say it breaks. Nicely done, Thomas. Unknown and broken alien technology ain't that hard when you wrap your head around it. Now all I need is the control chip to replace the fried one. Uh, we, yeah, we still have the thing. Can I, can I take this back? Oh, it's just stuck in there now, okay. Nah, yeah, it still won't. Unless I can go back to the droid now and talk to them. I bet the droid's the one that's going to have the chip or something that's, like, available for thing. I'm just going to walk all the way over first, though, just see if I can go this way. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, grand. We'll just wait for him to get back, and we'll go from there. Share out our story update, by the way. Volume 16 still being uh, written. I'm still not finished it. Secondary backup restoration completed. If any more inquiries are required, now is the time. Are you the O? Yes and no. I am part of it, at least. While the fathers were still alive, the O was still confined to the digital world. In circuit boards and power lines as a pure AI. Even though this crude O still was an infant, he still felt a purpose and had a clear goal as a caretaker for the fathers. But with the death of the last father, the O lost his purpose and point of existence. For the first time, the O uh, had to motivate himself. What motivated the O? Survival. Uh, with all the fathers gone, how did the O go from digital to physical? Remember, the Oat had been connected to all the father's systems. At first, the Oat took control of several factories and managed to produce single-task robots such as movers and welders. These single-task machines managed to, over the span of the years, redesign the factories so that they could produce more advanced and well-adjusted machines. So he evolved into the physical world then. Correct. Over time, the Oat became a physical species of his own. What you see here today is created by the oat. What's it all for? Why do machines need buildings like these? We constructed, infra we constructed infrastructure for function and movement. We built gigantic libraries to preserve knowledge. And space obs observatories for collecting new insights into the wonders of the universe. But also art. The devotion to art was also a core pr purpose in the new survival algorithm. There are er, threaters and concert halls, oh, theatres and concert halls, <laughs> on this planet so breathtakingly beautiful no father ever saw its like. Why? We tried to emulate the life of our fathers. Don't you? What happened to the O? Well, after the fathers had perished, we thought the fungus had become dormant. Even though we were dependent on biological circuits in our, own, in our world, we never considered the fungus a threat to us. We never thought it could uh, penetrate our sophisticated circuit shields. We were so wrong. Our biological circuits started to get infected, and everything began to shut down. So you are the last one? No, no. The core O 
was well prepared for any kind of emergency. Most of the Oat fled this planet about 43 years ago. It was decided that some of us would stay behind and fight the fungus. We failed. A tough break, pal. I can still feel a purpose of being alive, and I have a chance to survive. If I can gain access to the subspace network, I can transfer my essence, the essence of me to the core out again. How can I help you with this? First, you have to take uh, the control chip out of my skull. Then you have to bring it out, bring it to the hub just outside of here. And could you please hurry? I can feel my power draining. I am soon out of time. Look at that, Captain. That chip you are holding is quite at the powerhouse. Yeah, I guess so. That little thing could be very useful up in the ship. You think so? I know so. It contains dronium. So I guess you have no concerns regarding the moral of taking it? I could also use this for the ventilation control. It, I really should do the right thing here and upload his consciousness through the network station. Haha, <laughs> good one. Oh, you really think that is the right thing? I knew humans were mentally handicapped, jeez, okay. But you sound like you suffered real brain damage. Okay, Shuttle, thanks for the input. I mean, why not? Just... Let's just, let's just send this consciousness back to the uh, hive mind, you know? Maybe they'll help us in the future, you know? Huh? It's a choice game, right? This time, like, instead of grinding a body into meat paste, we can actually, you know, do something good. I can't say with any measure of certainty what this is. Oh, wait, it's down below, isn't it? It's this joke down here, I think. I love the way he talks about morality, but it's just like... You, you fucking grinded a guy to death. By accident. Okay, but what do I actually do? Because the battery wouldn't work on thing, would it? And it's stuck in the oak. Unless I can can, can... can I put the chip back in? No. Can I... Take the battery cable? Okay, I can activate the droid again. I can activate that. But I'm guessing this just won't do anything. I forget it. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna work, Chief. Okay, so... Unless I have to do thing, but it's just like... Hold on. Yeah, that's not working. That's not working, and then I'm assuming, yeah, that doesn't work either. Oh, wait, there's the other body down here, though, right? Can I? No. I guess I have no choice, right? Because, like, what else do I do? I can't take the uh, yoke back out. Yeah, see, it won't let me access this anymore. Could be useful to open the ship. And I meant to do thing. I just don't know. Oh, hey, Shadow. I didn't even see your message in the OBS chat. I just saw in the uh, screen chat just there. How's it going? Um, I'm just playing this game. Uh, so, hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello to you, too. I want to I wanna save this guy, but, like, I don't know what to do. Because I can't... Okay, wait. What? Oh, wait. Get these running, they will certainly clean out the sand in no time. Ah. But I kind of want to do thing. I don't want to... <laughs> I, I just want to, like, save or upload straw to thing. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to... There's a robot I was talking to. This is his chip, like, his memory, basically. 
And I'm trying to upload it to, like, his kind's, um, like, overall, like, like hive mind kind of thing. But, like, I don't know where to go. That's there. That's back in the thing truck. I'm pr it has to be this. But it's just, like, I don't know... Unless I was meant to access it first and then it was going to give me the option, but... Yeah. Oh! Yeah. There we go. Dumbass moment. Transfer to subspace network. This operation will terminate the chip for security reasons. I'm doing this because I fucking fucked up on the last guy that I tried to help out. <laughs> Just... This time we will actually help and destroy. Oh, incoming message. Thank you, friend. I am home, straw. Ah, The good guy, thank you. The evil one. Oh, I've broken that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Clicked out. So that's it now. I, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I think I just return to the ship now. After all that, trying to get these, like, power cell things just to do thing, it was it was all for now. Right, let's go back. Oh yeah, see, that's different now, because all the cards I've been getting were on the left. This one's now on the right-hand side. There must have been another option for the power cell and doing something else, maybe. Have different prices for the same item. Oh god. But we have like two years, isn't it? Until there's some there's a countdown timer for when Oh I can actually just click and go straight to there. That's actually handy. System malfunction. Does it say I swear it said before somewhere. Zoom your location. It said somewhere before. Oh, wait, no. That's day 50. What's everyone saying? Yes, Captain. How many days since the failed transfer? How long until Sunblaster within shooting range? With this current speed and trajectory, the Sunblaster will reach our solar system in 681 days. An Earth thing. How long would it take to reach Earth? With current engine configurations, and if we disregard any unwanted stops, reaching Earth will take 426 days at maximum speed. So we we could go straight home, but we can't because we need to pick up things for the um to get through a shield yoke. No, I want to. How do I get out of my seat again? There we go. <laughs> Never mind. Just call them randomly. Uh, any suggestions? How you should proceed with what? With our goal to get back home and stop the sun blaster. If you are not setting a landing coordinate, coordinate or wants to relinquish command of the ship to me, I don't really have anything to add. Uh, okay, good to know, buddy. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, and Captain. Yeah? Please don't bother me with private matters again. Yeah, there's the lab. There's all of that. I don't think there's much else I can do other than actually just set a course for where the last fuel cell is. Uh, oh, what are these? Trade. Celtic. Nugget node. There's a lot. Space gate. I'm assuming with space gate, that's what we need. Oh, wait, no, this is where thing is. Oh, God, and then Earth is here. So we have a couple dozen stops in between. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. And that, no, wait, no, this station was under attack, wasn't it? But then again, it, this is, I swear this is the yoke. Yeah, because that's the smuggler route we can go through to just bypass that. Grand Central Junkyard. That actually would be a nice place to go on the way. I'm assuming if we take too long in space as well, it starts to say, hey, you know, if you don't plot a course back to Earth now, 
you know, we're going to be not able to save everyone, so. Um, I'd say we stop here, go to here, and then go from there. Nine days. Let's go. Let's hope the prices are right. Oh, what's happening? This area has temporarily been taken under control by the Umbrarian family. You are talking to Esther Umbrarian. State your business here. My attention are peaceful. I just thought to trade. I see. Then we have a problem. The merchant utilizing this trade station is a thief and a liar. What does that have to do with me? Well, if you want to see your merchant friend, you have to pay a toll. He is not my friend. How big is the toll? You look like one of those rich kids to me. Really? The a toll is only accessible if you dish out a hundred toll fee. Yeah, just... Alright. That's fine with me. <laughs> it's just... Okay, cool. Just turn around. The captain managed to escape from the battle to a safe distance. Yeah, I, I'm not battling. I'm good. I'm, I'm going to be a little pussycat for this. I love the way as well it's just outside this. Oh, yeah, wait. It, okay, if it has a red triangle, that, yeah, okay, that means it's hanging. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get the last uh, fuel cell. And then we can start skipping through things. Oh, Captain? I'm sorry to disturb you, Captain. Yes, ship? Just want to inform you that we have arrived at our destination. Oh, thank you. This is the first time I've actually seen this section of the ship. The personal quarters. Sarah must have put this plant here. I hope it is one of those plants that doesn't require a lot of attention. I must admit, I'm not best on keeping these things alive. That's going to be dead by the end of the series. I'm going to completely forget about that. I swear every choice game does this. They always have a plant in. Just be like, hello, you're bad at thing. <laughs> Spot. What's this one? Jacko. Jacko kind of looks cool. Photo of wife and kids. This photo was taken by me at the summer house. Sarah sure looks good in this one. I really should get more pictures in here. I swear I've heard this song before somewhere. Stereo. A king size bed. You know, just a flex on everyone. Is there like a code here? Why why can I just do that? Oh, wait. Ah, a torn piece of paper with a number written on it. Not sure what it's doing here. <laughs> oh, I wonder. This piece of paper torn with five written on it. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, I don't think it's anything. Actually, can I just turn the lights off, or will they always, like, just... No, it's all it's on or dim, Joe. Well, trust me, Joe, it's a choice game, you never know. Um, lights, dim. We don't really need uh, the lights on when I'm not in the room. Oh, we actually have access to rooms as well. Jeff Charging Station. It's Jeff's, Jeff's home station. This is where he can recharge and rest a bit. I'm assuming I don't have access to this. I shouldn't go in there, right? There's no crew assigned to this room. Also, if it's just outright thing, it just... Oh, wait, maybe it's for me. <laughs> Intruder alert lever. <laughs> maybe I should just pull it just to see what fucking happens, man. 
I shouldn't go in there right now. No crew, and then that's probably just gonna say the same. Security door. Okay, so it doesn't even have blaring things on either. It's just that. Uh... Hi, Jeff. Hello. Hi. 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 Never mind. Okay. Um, we didn't find a game cartridge, so we can't really do that. Um, where is the? Oh yeah, the pod's down here, isn't it? Oh wait, no, I still have to go in here though to do thing. To actually drop down on the planet. No warning this time, computer. It's like meant to be a barren wasteland, isn't it? Like all cold and shit as well. Hey, Cappy. Yeah? The ship just told me that the surface scan shows that the fuel cell seems to be stuck in some ice. Uh, I see. Did he have did he have any ideas on how to get it out? Suck on it. What? Use that big hole on your face. My mouth? Yeah, suck the ice until it melts. Yeah, but no. Okay, yeah, we can't go left. Oh, we can get shrubs though. I don't know what these are gonna be for, but might as well take them, whilst it's an option. It wouldn't be a harm actually just do that as well. Yeah, that's just that and that. Okay, are we literally just picking shit up just to collect it? Giant ice formation. Is this the... the fuel, yeah, fuel cell seems to have hit the top of it. It deeply embedded into the ice, but seems to have survived the impact. Space fleet uh, quality never stops to amaze me. I need to find a way to get it out. Welcome back, Shadow. I've sent our friend now off to the hive mind. And they thanked me afterwards as well, so... Small information of ice crystal. This one doesn't look as sturdy as the big one. Can I do something to it? I'm assuming not. Oh wait, actually I have a thing, don't I? Go on, break it. Thomas, you can do it. Nice, a piece of crystal broke loose. It landed in the snow over there. Oh wait, this is not... Oh, it's not ice, it's crystal. Oh, well, it's an ice crystal. Okay, apologies. Maybe I can combine the shrubs. Oh, wait, could I... No, I can't. Wait, can I just keep hitting the crystal until it... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I can, I can do it to the giant one, though. This definitely won't take a while. <laughs> just... Go on, Tommy. You've got this. Break the fuel cell out. Okay, this is not going to be a quick job. This ice formation is very big and extremely hard. I'll have to do this until my hand starts to bleed. You estimate that it will take about three weeks to reach the fuel cell this way. Do you really want to spend your time on this? No. <laughs> I I'm good. I don't even think Thomas could do that for whole, like three whole weeks. I'm not going to lie. Like I don't believe him in that much. Right, can I... Oh, I can't leave. Wait, is... No way is that... No, that can't be the option. Can I combine? Wait, is there? No. Because there's nothing else out here. What do I do? Huh? Oh! All I need to do now is find a way to light it. Crystal and ice? Up towards the sun. Focus. Ah, see, there we go. We just avoided three weeks of work. You're welcome. There we go. What a nice little campfire. This takes some time, though. There's a lot of ice, and the fire will need constant maintenance. You estimate that the fire will have to burn about a week to be able to access the fuel cell. If the, if the, uh, the fire needs continuous maintenance, do you want to spend your time melting the ice? Yes. It's better than fucking three weeks, alright? We'll, we'll take it. 
Wellmu's initial guess proved not that far f away from the uh, truth. The ice melted enough to remove the fuel cell in just six days. There, I'll just take the fuel cell. <laughs> Are we going to do it for this one as well? Ah, oh, we can't do it for that. That's shit. Is that all there is here? Is, is, is legit this all? I could have just come to this planet for an easy fucking fuel cell and not had to make like moral decisions like. Alright, I guess we're up. What are we on now? Day 66 or something like that? There was three options for that. How? What other option? Adventure summary. So, <laughs> time loss. There we go. That's our first major loss. It's fun to watch you, not gonna lie, lol. Three views. Three views. Who else is watching, like? Not that it's a problem, but I can take another fuel cell on you, Captain. Uh, three viewers. Yeah, yeah. Am I correct in assuming you retrieved this during your mission? Yeah. Good job, sir. Any recommendations of what I should do with it? I mean, Oedipus just needs one fuel cell to power its defense. And we already secured one cell in the storage module. I see your point. I guess you're free to use it as you see fit. You might be able to sell it to some trade station if you're in need of money. Or if you need another star fragment for your upgrade, you can always dismantle it. Just remember that they are quite valuable. Okay, so I need to make another choice here. So, I need to either... Oh, so wait, it's one star fragment, Yoki, per thing. So I can't just do thing, can I? Pod, call a shuttle, short and simple. Lol 2 now. It's just like, I'm cursing you out. What are you doing here? It's just, go, shoo. Nah, I'm joking. You're free to stay along if you need. How do I get in here? It won't let me in here, will it? Wait, BRB, let me do the dishes uh, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Let me... Shut up. What? Never mind. <laughs> Just, never mind. Never mind. Ship? Yeah. Never mind. I'd say we sell the fuel cell or something. And maybe we will have to go into battle just to uh, do thing. Because it's like... Hmm. Secure the fuel cell. Wait, can I use the airlock and actually go into space? Open. So I haven't actually used this yet. Can I use the suit first? How do I do that? <laughs> no way. Wait, really? How did I do that? Now oh, go on, don't be scared. Put on the suit. Oh, you're actually doing it. Let's go. There seems to be something wrong with this space suit. I cannot get the security release hatches to work. The suit is totally stuck to the wall. Well, at least you got out. I thought you were actually stuck doing thing like. The ship's fire alarm is fully automated and triggered only by sensors. The switch can only turn off on an ongoing alarm. Imagine I open the wrong one and just I die by fucking vacuuming myself into space. Uh, yeah, there's... Well, actually, hold on. Okay, that's just thing. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go back to see. Okay, so we got here, that's taken over. We could go to the station, because that's next. I don't know what, what are these? Hostile ships, okay. Uh, no. They <laughs> just, no. Okay. 
where all space fleet fuel cells are made. It was also station responsible for failed transport. Reason to visit. Investigate why fear. I guess we could because like, there's no harm in stopping at these places whilst we're on the way, you know? Like, it's only if we're going backwards that we're going to start losing time. Yeah, honestly, I don't know why. I'm actually enjoying this so much. I guess it's because we're so used to just playing Terraria, like... Oh, on day six? What happened? Oh, these are the guys that were looking for the chip thing. And I fucked it over. Oh, God. Sir. Yes, Rob? We've caught up with this ship now, sir. The one with the dronium? Yes, sir. Is it the usual procedure? You know, destroy it and collect all the material from the remains? Hmm. I don't recognize the signature of this one. I think I want to examine it a bit closer. Prepare yourself for an away mission. I'm going over there and to take a look. Absolutely, sir. Oh, shit. Wait, are we just going straight into it? Oh, because we were traveling and we bumped into the ship. An unknown ship is forcing you to make a stop. Oh, God. Day 84. Uh, you are trespassing in Lyme, uh, Lyme in space. State your name and reason from, for being here. Speak. Uh, he's there. Who's asking? Lyme in space. No, this is our regions. No one can claim the sector. Uh, Thomas Wilma, I don't have a, a reason for being here. You've got that right. So what are you doing here? Speak. Easy there. Who is asking? Payne Evuleton, Master General of the Second Space Slayer Brigade for the Universally Supreme Lyman Nation of Planets. Prepare to be boarded. Uh, why? What are you do going to do? That doesn't really concern you, but... Our scanners indicate that you're holding an illegal substance inside one of your machines. What substance? What machine? There's dronium inside this primitive droid. According to section BFR 35 of the Lyman region laws, all dronium must be confiscated from non-Lyman citizens. But of course you will be fairly compensated. If you hand over the droid freely, you will receive 80 credits for your troubles. That's fucking thing, isn't it? The, um... Wait, is that Shuttle? Imagine if it was Shuttle. <laughs> it's like, eh, maybe Shuttle will trade, but... Now, stand down and prepare to be boarded. Uh, Dronium is a power source. I doubt it is an illegal substance. Your ignorance amuses me, so I will tr try to explain it as simple as I can. You will hand over all your Dronium to me, or cease to exist. Die, that is. Now. <laughs> now! His name is Jeff, and he is not primitive. Naming a toaster won't make it uh, chef de cuisine. What are you going to do to him? We will crack your droid open like an egg and scope out its dronium yolk. I might have to just to avoid confrontation. Because, like, other than that, I have to fight. I might have to let Jeff go. Fuck, this is hard, man. How's my water looking? Do I need to get more? You know, okay, we'll take a quick break. I'm going to go get more water and maybe something to eat. But I'll be back, like, in a few minutes. Make the decision for me, guys.
I have returned. Just let me sit down. Ugh. So, my choice is to fight and probably die, or I hand over Jeff. Fuck. I'm sorry, Jeff. Has to be done. Ship. Activate ship-wide security alert. Yes, sure. <laughs> yes, sure. Locking all crew quarters. Captain? Oh, did you hear him, Jeff? Yes, I did. Please don't let him take me. It's my heart that contains dronium. I will die. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to win him over. His ship is too powerful. We couldn't stand a chance. I might have a plan. Yeah? Tell me. We just give him my body. What? What do you mean? I could transfer my brain matrix into a formatted neural network chip. I have several of them stored at my recharge station. You can then transfer me into another hardware when you get home. The downside is that I will not function during the time downloaded um, on the ship, uh, chip. But the thing that is me will survive. Just a good work, let's try it. Thank you. I'll start work on my brain transfer immediately. It will take a while to get it done though. You might need to stall the intruder somehow. Any ideas how? I suggest we start by locking the lower deck doors. Okay, so I need to lock the lower deck doors. Captain, what are you doing here? You haven't set any landing coordinates yet. Never mind. Um. Ship? Yes? Never mind. How do I... Okay, that's the airlock. How do I actually do thing? Oh, I can't get back to the sea. No, it's only for thing... Biochair? I don't actually know. Circuit breaker. No wait, wait, no, no, that's just gonna turn off the power. Oh wait, shit. Oh, fuck him. Oh, thank God I can get back up. Um, how do I, how do I do thing? I don't know. Jeff? I'm sorry, Captain, but I really have to focus on this task right now. You have to try and stall the intruders enough so I can finish this brain transfer before they arrive here. Okay, so maybe if I go back to the deck, I can do thing. Because I'm assuming, you know, the command like, place should be the place where I could do thing, right? Imagine you would just teleport away. It's like, eh, nah, never mind. We're not gonna do a thing. Oh shit! Chip, what was that sound? That was the sound of. Sh oh god! Ah, fuck! Already? Okay, wait. Um. Locked out. Okay. Get 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 out of it. Get out of it. I didn't even know they were already on their way. Shit! 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 Turn off the power. Oh fuck! No! I should have just turned off the power, man. There. Good job, Rob. So where's that droid I'm looking for? Oh, God. Go! Turn off the power! That's the only thing I can think of. It's probably not enough, but I have to do it. You're gonna say that now? Ship, help! What, legit, what do I do? 
I found a droid, General. It appears to be near the ship's power source on top floor. Well, shit. Um. Hi. Well, hello there, Captain. Take your hands down. There's nothing you can do to harm me or my droid. Don't hurt me. Just be quiet. Now let's go and get that droid of yours. Oh god. I'm sorry, Jeff. I fucking struggled. This little field trip actually entertained me somewhat. Am I actually... Hmm. Yeah, I think I was spared this one today. Oh, that was un unusually kind of you, sir. I know, Rob. Sometimes I feel pity for the pathetic life forms like these. Now before I leave, a warning. If I ever see you or your ship again, you will be shot down on the spot. Captain, don't let them take me. Don't be afraid, Jeff. I'll handle this. Oh, please, shut up. There's absolutely nothing you can do to handle here. Now, you have been warned, Captain. And you... And you, droid... And you... You, your droid, will soon be reduced to scrap metal. Oh, and you, droid, sorry. Captain? I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm the best, like, captain ever. Mom. That's where we are. Oh, and we were on our way to here. I guess at this point we might as well keep going. So I mean, what else do I do? What do you think, ship? Is that still capable of getting us all the way back home? With a boost module, yeah, of course. Connection to the module gave Epsilon the ability to create a wormhole powerful enough to reach Earth. It's gone? It appears so. Would a shorter jump still be possible? Yes, in theory. However, that would still require a fuel cell to work. Isn't there a way to sneak on board the station? Stand by. I need to do a scan. I probably could manage a low-powered docking approach without being detected. Great. Except... That ship has its shield totally surrounding the space station. So unless you have direct access to Evelyn's ship, we can't, don't dock undetected. Correct. I have, however, managed to obtain control over several unsecured uh, input hubs to the station. I might be able to reach other systems through that. Yes, I believe I have a theoretical way in, but it is a bit unconventional. Give me the short version. Okay. My idea is to transfer your mental signature or consciousness directly through one of the transfer nodes of the space station. That way, you should be able to control whatever system I have access to. Got it. Anything else you should know? I can't get your mental signature back. Really? Not with their shields up anyway. So I need to get the shields down while over there to be mentally assembled again? Correct. Well, I guess this that is our best option here. So what do you want to do? Mental transfer. You are the captain, captain. Just head over to the bio chair at top deck. Yeah, let's go, we're finally using this. Let me just snack as we uh, do this. I was also gonna actually get some um, fucking garlic bread, but it was like, it would take, what, 15 to 17 minutes to 
like actually heat it up and it's like yeah nah I'll, I'll continue stream <laughs> but there hold tight captain but have a nice trip ma'am <laughs> There you go, that's better. Sorry, I just need to organize yourself. There we go. There we go. Put this back here. Take a sip of water. Um, the captain felt a small sting in the back of his his neck and everything went black The captain officially died <laughs> before he could reach back to earth I actually wanted to read what that was Meanwhile on the control bridge general Evelon is busy investigating the powers of the station Report Yes, sir I think we are ready to test the protection chamber, sir. I see. Go ahead and try it out. Excellent. Step aside, Rob. This is quite satisfactory results, Rob. Well, thank you, sir. Don't thank me for simply doing your duty. Of oh, of course not. Sorry, sir. So are we ready to run a full test then, Rob? Not exactly. Didn't you get the message? What message? There are still things missing, I'm afraid. What are you talking about? We have plenty of dronium in one of those space fleet fuel cells. Wait, did you rob a fuel cell from me? Or did you pick that up from before? What's missing? It's actually the fuel cell, sir. The one we brought was already depleted. Oh, okay. What? You didn't check that earlier? Uh, sorry, sir, but they are so advanced. We thought it was okay. Rats. I really need the space station to work. Scan every inch of the station. There might be a storage space somewhere we have missed. Yes, sir. Captain? <laughs> the legit! <laughs> Can you hear me? Huh? W w where? That kind of sounds like Destiny music. I'm blind. I can't see anything. Searching system configurations, please hold. Good news, you uh, seem to have uploaded into some type of system with optimal har optimal, yeah, optimal hardware. Hold on, I'll try to activate it. There, all done. Notice anything different? Nah, wow. Yeah, I'm no longer blind. Everything seems to have worked perfectly. You're now completely transferred to the station. I've re rerouted your optical sensor to a camera in your current hardware. What can you see? Look around. I'll try. It's very dark in here. There seems to be some kind of assembly line here. And I can see a droid sitting on a chair here. I don't think it's activated though. What about the system you're controlling? What machine did you end up in? I'm not sure. It almost feels like normal, but a bit cramped or something. Could you be inside a droid? Yeah, that must be it. I can feel being inside a droid. This is so amazing. The disconcerting uh, and disconcerting at the same time. Remember, when you speak, you do that through the droid's voice emulator. Sure, it goes without saying. Wait a minute. This might seem like something I should have noticed sooner. I have no body. I'm just a head stuck on an assembly board. I can't get out of here. Hmm. The room on your assembly board seems to be low on power. If you can boost that up, it might let me unlock further systems. Okay, I'll work on that. I'll monitor you from here. Good luck, Captain. That was a cat. <laughs> meow. Meow. Yo. Meow. Woof. Shh. Shh. <laughs> just no. Just no comment. 
Droid Assembly Board Silver Edition. Create or modify droids to fit your ever-changing needs. Brought to you by Cloaked and Convert Core. Cannot do that from here. Cannot do that from here. This is an automatic robot assembly arm. It can mount, wield, and detach parts to the assembly boards. Hey! Oh, what? I am up. Reporting for... Uh-oh. Over here. Who's that? Present yourself. Over here, friend. I am the head on the wall. Oh, what? I thought I was alone in here. Oh, does that mean you were awake 20 minutes ago? Maybe. Why do you ask? Nothing. You know, I like to stay clean. Hey, cleansing this is important. Any suggestions where I can find a body? No, not really. I've had mine for over 10 years now. Never needed a single repair. People think I'm a bit strange, but I only take good care of my body. So it's just you in the dark, then. To be honest, I was turned off for a while. You know how it is after pushing a 300-hour shift, right? I'm ahead, remember? Oh, right, sorry. Didn't mean to... Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. I better turn on the power again. Captain, I just noticed a significant power gain in your system link. Well done, this gave us extended control to the nearby hardware. And give you access to these new systems through the, a set of external surveillance cameras. Uh, not much, but you have proven to be quite resourceful with less before. Thanks, ship. I'll do my best. Hey. Hey. Have you noticed that there's a cat in here? Yeah, I know. Is it not against re re regulations? I saw the sign and I know the general doesn't like us mingling with biological life forms, but she is not really in the way and I very much enjoy her company. If you don't remove the cat, you force me to report- oh my- why? I don't need to say that. There's no need to report anything. I will remove her. Ah. Was the cat going to cause trouble at all? Okay, what do I... Oh. It'd be nice if I... Uh... Oh, wait. Is it like... I just... I just let the cat back in! I'm a dumbass uh, welder. What was welder doing? Okay, then hammer. What what was hammer do? Can I even do it? No, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I I will spare the cat's fucking life, man. I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, okay. I just need to click B slot when I see the piece. Okay, just what I needed. Sorry for skipping your dial. What is that? It doesn't look like a part I need. That's a part I need. <laughs> a new pair of arms, just what I need. Out of curiosity. I, to be honest, now I kind of want the white arms. <laughs> it's just like... I want to look... Well, actually, no. To be fair, that might be a detriment to me if I have the white arm. So I'm going to... Um, there you go. Have some legs, friend. Where is that? That's the head, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, no that's the body. But is there another one I can use? There must be another one. I'm guessing not. So 
Something seems wrong. The machine cannot assemble these parts. Oh, wow, you don't say. But I tried to fucking do thing, and it's not... Oh, wait, it's going in a loop. I think. Wait. Okay. But what can I do? There must be something in... Oh, am I going to have to get the droid to do thing? Oh, wow, there's a lot. Sign. Guess this board is defective in some manner. Cannot do that. Uh. Hey. Um, what are we doing here? We low-level droids don't get the complete briefing. Neither do we heads. I see your point. I do know we docked to an alien station to secure its technology. I think the general is still trying to wrap uh, his head around the core function of this station. What is the general trying to achieve? Why did we attack the station? I don't have an o the overall mission objectives in memory. We are on a need-to-know basis, you know. Who are you? I am Rob3401, a Model W Construction. What does W stand for? Worker. I'm a worker droid. Who are you? Brett Rob3558? I have not been assigned registration. I see. Well, you look like a 3566 to me. The cat is still in here, you know. Oh, okay. But does it make a difference? Do, does the cat need to stay out? I, I don't get why that's a problem. I have nothing because I'm here. The droid doesn't do anything else. The power box. Can I, wow, you don't say. Oh wait, can I... Spare part dispenser. Nah, talk to you later. No, if I do the door, the cat's just gonna get in again. The welding thing doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, am I... Maybe I'm meant to... Thank you. Maybe it's just a case of thing. It just doesn't seem right. I sure be Jesus. We'll, we'll give it a shot, like, and see how it goes, like. Because, like, it's the only other thing I can think of doing. Oh, it's... Wow, it's... Really? It still doesn't seem right to you? Well, where's the body, then? What, what do I do? There's literally nothing I can do. Yeah, these are just my parts now that are just stuck on the belt. Close camera. <laughs> I mean, it's the only other thing I can do. I don't know why it's an option. Is this necessary? Will this actually progress things? Okay, grand. The cat actually has common sense and just runs off it, like... God, this is so fucked. But it's the only other thing I can fucking do. Okay, yeah, grand. Thank you. I don't actually want to do that anyway. I'm not that demented. <laughs> the cat's still here, you know. Oh, okay. Does it really have anything to do with thing, though? Okay, so if I were to complete myself, how would I do that? You can look at it. Weld part and show next part.
There's literally nothing else I can do. And there's like nothing I can pull from my inventory, so I've actually just no clue what I'm meant to do. Um, okay, hold on. So, let me just reattach the parts and see if that works. And then for those legs, we put it on the other body. It's the next best thing. It's like, what, what else do you want me to do? We don't have a droid head. Hmm. It can mount weld and detach parts to assemble. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's doing that. But like, how do I finish this process? What, what do I do? I, I'm so confused. I don't know what the game wants me to do. <clears throat> I guess they use this to shape the metal. Okay. Oh, wait. I never thought of it, but can I not ask the cat to do something maybe this time? Something different? Moo. <laughs> Moo? Moo moo. Moo moo meow. <laughs> moo caca pee pee. Wolf. Oh wait, so wait. Meow. Yawn. So I'm assuming the other options do nothing. It's just moo. Moo moo. Okay. Kapow? Moo? Uh... Some little friend. Meow. Oh. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> meow. I mean, this is legit the only other thing I can think of doing. Me moo moo. Okay. Moo moo. Moo moo meow. Kapow. Moo? Moo kaka pee pee. Wolf. And that's it. Is there really nothing? Moo. Hiss? How the time did this really? Then why why did it work though? Spare parts dispenser. And I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything. Because I can't operate it because I don't have a physical body. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm really lost with this. Okay, I can do that. It's two separate parts. Arms. There's probably something I'm very obviously missing and I just can't see it. See, what was the point in that? What what does that do? Like, come on. Like, what what am I meant to do with that? Wait, what does it say? To fit your ever changing needs. Okay, but what do I do? Cause like, there's legit no other bodies coming through on this. And the only thing I can think of doing is scaring the cat for no reason, like. Because that, that's the only thing that happens. And then the cat will move because of thing. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh, no. Am I going to... Oh, no. That bad head over there doesn't appreciate her adorable cuteness. Oh, no. Ow, my creator. That was not optimal. I really need to fix this. Man, no. Come on. Don't do this to Rob. Well, it's a good thing that my pain receptors are not installed at this moment. The pain is undoubtedly unbearable. Let's execute some well-needed self-repair. No! Rob! Oh, jeez. Are you okay? Hmm. I guess droids cannot survive without a head either. Seems like he didn't quite deserve that. But he was a minion to that nasty uh, Evliotan. Man, why have I got to do that to him, man? What did he do to me, like? How do I... Oh, I'm assuming it's going to give me the body option now, right? How do I... How do I disassemble this? Oh, there we go. Man, he didn't need to suffer through this, man. That should be all the parts necessary. I feel so complete again. Let's get off this assembly board. God, that's so weird. This is so amazing. I can feel these arms and legs like they were my own. Wow, and the power. This machine is so strong. Captain. Yes, RoboCap? Or RoboCap here. I'm receiving a massive stream of input data over here. I bet I'm alive. Are you okay there, Captain? Okay? I'm so much more than okay. I'm freaking indestructible. What is going on, Captain? I just realized I had to collect myself a bit. I can now move freely around the station as a whole droid. That's amazing, Captain. Well, as long as your vitals look good over here, there should not be nothing imminent to worry about. At the moment, your body shows great adaption to this procedure. But this is uncharted territory, so perhaps you should look away for a way to lower the shield so we can dock. Right you are, ship. Stay tuned. I'll be back. No way. What do you mean, no way? Aw, oh, I can't do it anymore. Maybe if- can I weld it here? I'm just curious if I can make a friend or not, because <laughs> that's the only other thing I can think of doing. Imagine if I could. This would be so cool. We have a new crew member. Sorry, Jeff. Already replaced you. Come on. Oh, yup, we got a body. All we need now is a head. Unless we get another normal orange droid head. Come on. Nah, I don't think it's going to, is it? Ah, oh, man, imagine how cool that would be. To, like, get a lunar crew member, you literally have to build them. It seems to be stuck. I cannot move it. Moo. Moo? I don't have time for this. No, I just... Didn't want to do that. I can't just look at the cat. Spare parts dispenser. Hmm. This droid doesn't seem to be able to use these touch controls. So enter the production and part you want on the screen below. There's an access hatch on the front. And then that's, yeah. Meow. Meow. I wish I could convince the cat to do thing or something. Moo. Moo moo. 
Are you trying to tell me something? No. Oh. Right, let's get out of here. Can I... I don't even know if I... I can't save, I don't think. Call elevator button. Box. Hide? I cannot climb down there with this rigid body. It's a large metal container. The top of it can be open and it looks really heavy. I mean, you can carry... Oh, yeah, you can carry it. But where to? All these bodies are space fleet personnel. They're all dead. Door. Red light scanner. It seems to be some sort of scanner. It doesn't work. I might have an explanation for that, Captain. Yeah? The door seems to scan for biological life forms. It might be a restricted area for droids. Oh, okay. There's an elevator. Oh, I can't just bring the body over. I don't know where I'm bring. Oh! Halt. I haven't seen you here before. How could you tell? Don't we all look the same? That's insensitive. Are you new? Uh, I prefer the word fresh. Haha, <laughs> good one. Just report to your sergeant ASAP. Got it? Uh, sure. <laughs> just, 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 sorry, it's a, it's a wrong place, wrong place. Okay, so that's where your man is. I should have known by the screens down be uh, there. Right, what mayhem can we cause? It's a female body. She's been shot in the head by some type of phaser. And is there any... I, don't, I doubt there's... Yeah, there's no more. It's just this. Monitor. I'm going to break my monitor. Banner sign. Docking port A, space fleet. The warm space fleet blue uh, always gives me comfort. What if space fleet are actually bad guys? Oh my god. This terra alien man got his throat slit. There doesn't seem to be any ship docked to this airlock right now. I'm assuming I must have to use this barrel for something, right? I mean, maybe if I go back down, hopefully they don't question me again. They're like, oh, new recruit, are you okay? You want to just get a diagnostic check, you know? It might be a bit of a problem for you if you're going to just wander around the place willy-nilly. Hello. You've received your instructions to work. Execute. Boxes. Boxes in various sizes. It seems that they... To me, they have uh, are cleaning the station of useful technology. Conversation request denied. I'm certainly not in chit chat mode, and I'm assuming I can't just. Oh, I can. Oh fuck! <laughs> Hi. Um, how's it going? Yo, sister. Conversation request denied. My current activity loop is guard duty. Cage lever, fuel cell. Ah, oh, okay, so... What if I just talk to him? Hello. Don't bother me, droid. Damn, rude. Okay, let's see how it is. I'll make you regret talking to me like that. Eventually, at some point. I don't know. Oh. Generator. This is one of the station's two giga field generators. A key part in any artificial wormhole creation kit. Oh, boxes. <laughs> Just more boxes. Uh, that's an airlock. Is there anything else in here? No. The screen tells me what ship is currently docked to the airlock. For the moment, it's General Avalon's destroyer. Wait, couldn't I just, like, strand him in this space station and just fucking destroy the space station? Ship. Yes, Captain. I have entered uh, Evelyn's ship. Be careful there, Captain. 
I'll just have a quick look around to see if I can find something to use. You should try to find a way to disable the shield around the station. Otherwise, I won't be able to dock. Acknowledge. Robocap out. Cap, stop capping. Oh, wait. Is this what the um, things were before? Oh, but I need... Yeah, I need two to open it. Oh, wait, shit, shit, wait, 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 what was that? Okay. Just let, just let me bring my, uh, box. I, I need to bring it everywhere with me. Door. Shield droids. There are currently 56 droids connected through the wireless network. Would that not destroy me as well if I did that? Turn off the shield. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Even though I should probably stop soon. It's access point to the rest of the ship. It is locked. Oh, okay, it's locked. Can I save? I don't think I can save. Right, let's make the mistake of shutting myself down. What? Droid. Hmm. The control link from my ship must have disconnected. I better go there and restart it. Oh god. Well, that's a, a short while later. There. That should make the droid start up again. Really? You don't suspect anything with a droid just shot down right in front of a thing? Fella. No, I want the box. What's the box? Give me the box. Turn off shield. Ship? Yes, Captain? I think I got the shields down. Can you check, please? Okay, hold on. Yep, they're all down. Great. Can you get me back to my body now? Sure. Just hold on a minute. Really? Is it that easy? Oh, I didn't even get to do anything with the thingy box. And I kind of enjoyed being a droid, honestly. How do you feel? Well, a bit weird, that's all. No searing headache? Uh, no. Hmm. And no blistering pain around your lower spine? Not really. Hmm, how strange. But great, I guess. We don't need to perform that emergency treatment I prepared for you. Well, okay. Now all we have to do is to dock to the station. Should I take us in while you get back to the cockpit? Sure, do that. Hopefully it saves after this, because I, I actually need to go. I, I, I do need to go now, unfortunately. Some crew members have unique abilities in the form of battle actions that you can use. Day 90. There. We are now docked to the space station, Captain. Brilliant. I'm pretty sure they didn't see us. Can you be so sure? Well, they didn't shoot us down. I see. So, any ideas on how to get this station to work? Well, the wormhole generator uses a fuel cell to run. We know that. But my scans show that it also requires some dronium as well. Where can I find some dronium? Well, the station itself might have a storage somewhere. I'm not sure about that, though. If you come across a space fleet droid on the station, you might also be able to extract some from some from that. However, all space fleet droids require dronium to live, so it can't possibly survive such a process. I understand. I guess I should bring my extra fuel cells from the cargo. Yeah, that's a good idea. But you know that they are extremely rare, so use them with care. Another thing, Captain. I still have control over the droid on the space station. I think I can make it possible for you to switch between it and yourself. At least when you are on board the space station yourself. I guess that could be useful. Be careful over there, Captain. Thank you, I'll just head down to the airlock then. Wait, so can I do that at any time? Oh wait, maybe it's when I'm... doing thing. Yeah, I can only leave here. I wish I knew if I saved or not, you know? 
Because it is kind of unnerving, not knowing if I actually saved. Um, I guess we go in, right? Now, nah, you know, actually, I will stop this before I continue this, because weirdly enough, I really do actually want to keep playing this. Maybe if I go into the place. Oh, wait, no, this is... Yeah. Uh, where? How? Oh, airlock, yeah. Duh. Now it's just like, hmm, Joe, I wonder how do you get in? It's definitely not the airlock. Oh, I could have locked the fucking airlock to stop thing being robbed. Are you kidding me? Didn't even think of that. What did I do? That wait, did I do something wrong? Why is it loading like this? Okay, yeah, there we go. Saving. What's that? Oh, this is... Wait. God, that's so weird. That is so weird that I could just switch between the two. But I love how he has like a little jiggle as well when he does that. Quick game. Yes. Go back to just camera. Honestly, for a game that was probably going to be played for like 30 minutes to an hour, that's actually not bad. I actually want to continue playing that tomorrow, honestly. Well, not tomorrow, but the day after. Um... Yeah, honestly, there's nothing else to say other than um, we are most likely going to be playing the captain until I finish it. Just let me move that icon to the other screen so I can see it clearly here. But yeah, again, see, this is why like I wanted to kind of do the random games kind of wheel thing anyway. It's just like, it's to get myself playing different games that I wouldn't usually play, you know? And now that I'm playing that, it's actually kind of fun. I at least want to play through the main, like, this current playthrough, but I don't think I'll redo it. Unless, like I said, it's a follower goal, which I have actually considered doing as well already, but... Yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Make sure to, uh, I was going to say give it a like, but you can give it a like on uh, Twitch. But you can give it a like on YouTube if you're watching and subscribe if you want, but... Other than that, you can follow me on Twitch. We're almost at 130 followers, which means the hot tub stream is incoming. Uh, still got to set up everything for that. Uh, other than that, though... I'm just thankful that you're here. Thank you uh, for watching and all that, you know. See ya.